Hey everybody, welcome back to playing... What was it again? Oh yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. The oh god, there are thwomps in this level. If you're wondering why I don't choose Luigi, it's just because that one time I played as Luigi, there was quite a bit of frame loss, and I'm assuming it's just because, you know, this is either not totally a full-fledged game, or they anticipate you to play as Mario predominantly for some reason. I could be wrong, it was just that level that had a problem, so I should probably give him a fair shot again. But, uh, for recording purposes, uh, Mario's wall jumping skills also seem to be good. If this was Super Mario Bros. 1, though, I wouldn't be able to walk backwards and get the coin I missed, so thank you, game, for that convention and jumping over fire. I do not want to roast. Not very much. Somebody get the butter, because we're having toast. Anybody else play Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> You'll get what I'm talking about. Alright. Weird reference. Huh? Ah, more points. I kind of want a t-shirt that says that. Gamers do it for the points. Level up, maybe. Oh, not that time. Should have probably left that fire flower back there. Although, at this point in the stage, going back for items probably not my best choice. Also, this doesn't not appear to be the kind of Bowser's Castle where you need to do bottom, middle, up in order to continue. Do you know what I mean? Oh! I didn't realize I could stand on these columns this whole time. Thought they were background. Oh, oh, I probably shouldn't be in here. Um... Well, one minute, guys. I need to get myself out of a horrible position. <laughs> okay, in earlier Mario games, having done that, is he going to fall off the edge? No, he's not. Oh, apparently these uh, undead Koopas are smarter than their living contemporaries. But in other games, such as Super Mario World, getting trapped in a block like that would automatically push you in whatever opposite direction Mario was facing in, if I'm not mistaken. You know, good way to get yourself out of horrible places. And I totally thought these were background objects. I mean, everything suggests that they are. I mean, they were even background objects in the original one. But apparently they're also platforms. Which may or may not become a convention later. Which I'm glad on choosing. And if I'm not mistaken, living Koopas in the original Super Mario Bros. is actually a rarity. A bit of a rarity. usually inanimate objects that uh, were the traps in Bowser's Castle. That and Goombas. Okay. Particularly like the use of these... Oh, this is not good. Too close to the ceiling to effectively jump this guy. There we go. I knew it. Double plant trap. You can't fool me. I'm sure you can, but... Not for long! And in the lost levels, this sort of a thing was the bane of my existence, because apparently getting near to the end of the boss, but being over the screen, would cause you to die a horrible death, because there would be no way to go fight the final boss. And that, friends, is why Flip has never, in fact, beaten the lost levels. Getting to the final level, there were some horrible, horrible jumps around rotating fire bars. Oh, God. Well, that could have gone better. Let's play it again. Alright, thankfully the checkpoint was in fact near the end of the stage. I don't want to find out what happens if Whip runs out of lives. Actually, there's a fair distance to go before we meet the boss, who is apparently, of course, Bowser. We didn't see that one coming. Actually, I thought that would be the kind of boss for the first world. I don't want to admit that if I'm not able to, like, burn him to death or jump over him and I have a mushroom left, it is totally an unfortunately valid tactic to simply take the hit, go through Bowser, and grab the axe. Not gonna lie, I've done that a few times in the original. Perhaps more than I care to admit, because it's not cheating. But it's not, it is not giving the final boss. Not final boss, but it isn't giving the boss his due. If you can simply take a hit and then go through him to the end lever that causes you to win, well, it's, isn't it a form of 
cheating? <laughs> Mario Morals, friends. What do you think? Please tell me in the comments. Unfortunately, due to Google Plus, I won't be able to respond, as I've told you before. Let's do this. Okay. No reason to wait around. Also, I don't know if there's actually a way to get back down. Oh, no. Or if using that shell on Bowser himself would be a valid tactic. I could go back and get it. No. No, we're going for it. Forget it. So what can you do exactly besides blow fire? You gonna see any uh, any hammers? Whoa! Not today. Hey, I'm still in control of Mario. The game hasn't ended. Interesting. Oh! Thank the stars you've come. We've saved a toad. You want to know what happened to the princess? Bowser learned of your mission and took her away from here. He just he took her through a warp pipe just outside. Good luck! So there's no another tasseling around. It's simply a race? Heads up, due to the way the save system works, you cannot save in areas that transition you between worlds. Oh god, we haven't saved the game yet. Oh, I don't want to lose my entire progress. I only have seven lives. Well, I'll see you in the next episode! Uh, apparently that's all it took. See you later!